वेलकम बैक स्टूडेंट्स अगेन इन कंटिन्यूशन विद ऑनलाइन क्लास सीरीज ऑफ बायोलॉजी क्लास ट्वेल्व एंड चैप्टर नंबर टू दैट इज सर्जरी प्रोडक्शन इन द फ्लावरिंग प्लांट्स नाउ वी हैव टॉक्ट अबाउट द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ द गेमीट दैट इज बोथ मेगास्पोरोजेनेसिस एंड माइक्रोस्पोरोजेनेसिस दैट इज प्रोडक्शन ऑफ द मेल गेमीट एज वेल एज द फीमेल गेमीट नाउ वी आर मूविंग अ हेड विद द अदर इवेंट और अदर फेज ऑफ द प्री फर्टिलाइजेशन इवेंट दैट इज ट्रांसफर ऑफ गेमीट्स as we all know that the male gametes and the female gametes both are born in the pollen grains that is the male gametes they are born in the pollen grains and the female gametes they are present in the embryo sac both of these are non motile structures these are non motile structures and uh, they need to come close to each other for the fertilization event to take place so there must be certain procedure or there must be certain process which could bring both of them together so uh, so that the next act of fertilization can easily proceed so that is why pollination is very very important since and since pollination brings both the male gamete as the female gamete together with one another or close to one another so that the female fusion of the male and the female pro nuclei can easily take place so again when we are talking of pollination it is a process of transfer of pollen grains from the anthers to the stigma of the pistil now as i said you all that pollination it is a process of transfer of the pollen grains from the anther to the stigma of the pistil now there is a condition that both the anthers and the pistil can be of the same flower this is known as self pollination and both the anthers and the pistil can be of the different flowers that is known as cross pollination so now we uh, here we are going to study self pollination and cross pollination differently and specifically now when we are talking about pollination event here the very first type is autogamy the word autogamy auto means self and gamy comes from the word gamus gamus means marriage that is it is a process wherein the uh, pollens from the anthers of the same flower are shed to the pistil of the same flower it is a process where the pollen grains from the anthers of the same flower are transferred to 
the stigma of the pistil of the same flower. Since and since both the anther and the uh, uh, pistil they belong to the same flower then there arise a need that there should be a synchrony for the development and maturation of both the stigma and the anther at the same time. That is uh, the, the male uh, reproductive part that is the, uh, that is the uh, um, pistil as well as the, fe uh, sorry, the female reproductive part that is the pistil as well as the male reproductive part that is the pollen grains. They need a synchrony that they should develop and mature at the same time so that the transfer of the pollen grains can take place at the appropriate time so as the fertilization event can very easily take place. But it is a very precise thing and it is not found easily in nature. So various uh, uh, modifications or various adaptations are found in nature and accordingly autogamy is again divided into two parts that is casmogamy which produces casmogamous flowers and feastogamy. Now when we are talking about casmogamy, casmogamy is a process wherein the plant produces the flowers um, uh, which resembles the flowers of the other species. Now when we are talking about the cleistogamy, cleistogamy, cleisto means hidden or enclosed, not hidden, basically it is enclosed. In such type of the flowers, what happens that the flowers, uh, they remain, when they are present in the bud condition only, at that very moment, the uh, pollen grains from the anther are transferred to the pistil, uh, stigma uh, of the uh, pistil of the same flower. That is within the very uh, bud condition only, when the bud, they have not just opened up at that very moment in the bud condition that is in the closed condition the transfer of the pollen grains from the anther lobe to the uh, stigma of the pistil occurs within the same flower and that very procedure is known as cleistogamy. Such type of uh, adaptations or modifications are found in flowers like voila, oxalis, etc, etc. Now, talking about the second type, that is mitogamy. Metogamy, it is a process wherein the pollen grains, they are shed or they are transferred from the anther of one flower to the pistil of another flower of the same plant. It is the process where transfer of pollen grains takes place from the anther of one flower to the stigma of another flower but of the same plant though here the cross uh, though here the pollination event has taken place between two different flowers but both of them they belong to the same plant therefore they are sharing the same uh, uh, what to say same uh, genetic combinations so the third type 
which we are going to study up over here is that is when we are talking about dendrogamy though the pollination event takes place between the two flowers uh, two different flowers of the same plant but they are genetically similar since and since they belong to the same plant but the third procedure which we are now going to talk about is xenogamy when we are talking about xenogamy xenogamy it is a process wherein the transfer of the pollen grains occurs from the anther of one flower of one plant to the anther uh, to the stigma of the pistil of another plant here actual cross pollination event takes place it is the process of transfer of pollens from the anther of one flower to the pistil of another flower of different plant this is what is known as actual cross pollination because here the transfer of the pollen grains it is occurring between two different plants and it might be very very possible that it may occur between two different plant species also so here we have talked about all the three types of pollination which occur in nature now from uh, in our next class we are going to talk about the different type of pollinating agencies and what are the adaptations that are required for these pollinating agencies thank you